And uh, to bring us forward to session four, we have Ms. Laura Strawbridge on. Laura? Yes, thank you so much. And I'll be representing this session on behalf of our excellent panelists and also Dr. Neil Mirapol, who uh, was moderating with me. So I think at this point, we're starting to hear some convergence of, of a lot of similar themes across the sessions. Um, this particular session that I helped moderate was a roundtable looking at innovative strategies that um, can improve EHR data collection to support care quality and research initiatives. So taking a look at the slide here, we have several key takeaways. Some of you who uh, listened in yesterday afternoon and made it through the end of the day, we were at the very bottom of the day's very packed agenda, uh, may have heard us talking about a, a data lake was the, the image that came across. Um, in, in my mind, it was a pretty murky lake uh, if we're thinking about the current state of uh, what we are dealing with um, with oncology EHRs. And in fact, it, maybe it's not always a lake. Maybe we have some, some little streams that don't always connect to each other. So, you know, some of the themes that we heard were really it's, it's the current state is not sustainable. It's, it's too burdensome. Uh, as, as we've heard others note, there's incompleteness um, in the data, there's inconsistent quality, and, and those really align with what we see today as a, a fractured state of care. We have multiple data platforms, we have multiple data formats, and there's challenges in exchanging that data seamlessly. We also have barriers to um, share data, things like confidentiality concerns and questions about data ownership, which inhibit um, that seamless data exchange. So the, the panel, we, we talked about the vision for the future. And as I was trying to come up with a comparison to the murky lake or, or little data streams, I kept coming back to the, um, the Chesapeake Bay, which those of you who live in the DC area know that um, today it might be more like that murky lake, but uh, once upon a time when, uh, Folks were first coming to our country about 500 years ago. Apparently, it was crystal clear, and you could uh, just pick the uh, the delicious crabs right off the um, off the the bottom, and, and could see straight through. So as we as we look to that crystal clear water of of the proverbial uh, EHR future here, if I'm not stretching it too far, we we had several ideas of what this might look like. EHRs would really be designed to meet the end goals of comprehensive care and precision medicine. There's a lot in that uh, that we can perhaps unpack during the uh, discussion. And EHRs would provide all necessary functionality in one place. There would be stated uh, standard data sets, but also natural language processing, uh, recognizing that, that either one can't accomplish everything that we need. In the ideal, there'd be one data input and then many uses of that data. Several folks have talked already about interoperability, so I won't dwell there. And then there would also be clarity that patients own their data and that secondary uses of data would really be focused on patient benefit. So turning to the next slide, recommendations that we heard from panelists in session four included things like um, creating partnerships with vendors so that EHR capabilities are inclusive. Also that um, EHRs would have Usability and feasibility testing. I think this resonates with some of the recommendations from earlier sessions. That there would be provider and payer partnerships uh, formed around the shared goal of high quality and efficient care. We also had folks talking about the need to update HIPAA or the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act uh, that would allow patients to opt into research discussion about how patients would like to uh, participate and, and should be given the option to. And then lastly, there was talk about building national platforms that really could leverage the full potential of EHR-based real-world data sets for patient care and research. We talked about um, just a, a wide variety of use cases for, for data if it was um, all combined in one central location from everything from clinical decision-making and pathways, which others have mentioned, things like triage, risk stratification of patients, EPROs have been mentioned, um, seamless connection with patient portals, and then also critically research as well. So to facilitate this, we would need standard data models and um, as others have mentioned elsewhere too, really incentivizing participation. So I think I've reached the end here and I'll turn it over um, 
back to the moderators. That's fantastic. Thank you so much.